This is Tech with Luke. I appreciate y'all tuning in. This is my first couple of videos, so I know the lighting and audio probably sucks, and I just appreciate y'all watching. I know I'm gonna get right to the point though. Basically, I'm unboxing my whole desk setup today. It's gonna be a brand new LG 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor. We got the MX Master 3 mouse, and we got the MX keys. Basically why I got this stuff is I've done a ton of research on YouTube. Basically I feel that these are gonna be the best for my situation and this is gonna be a dope monitor. This whole setup costs six, seven hundred dollars. We're gonna see if it's worth it. I got it from Amazon and that's what we're gonna to do today. Stay tuned. All right, obviously we're gonna open up this beast first. So let's do that.
put this up here without messing it up. This is my first external monitor, so I ain't never seen something like this. I'm used to a 13 inch MacBook Air 10 years ago. Man, this is, this is beautiful. It supports sRGB 99% color gamut. The monitor has a height and tilt that can be adjusted. It's got one USB Type-C port, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, and one DPIN port, and one headphone jack. The whole thing's about 23 pounds with the stand. And this is how it looks connected to my MacBook Air to the main display port. Overall, my opinion at the moment is that it's a really great monitor for the money. I chose this monitor for running my business, editing YouTube videos, and honestly because I got tired of looking at my tiny 13 inch MacBook Air screen. I chose the 34 inch because I knew I wanted something over 25 inches. And as soon as I saw this 34 inch beauty on Amazon, I read some positive reviews about it and I took the chance on it. And I'm happy with the result. If you do want to purchase this exact monitor, the link is in the description below. Really quick, I wanted to point out this awesome large red desktop mouse pad that I also picked up from Amazon. The dimensions for this are 35.4 by 17 inch so it covers the majority of my desk as you can see. I wanted this on my desk for my unboxing and review videos so I had a visually nice area to do my recording at. It seems to do the job quite nicely so I definitely recommend grabbing one. They actually have a bunch of different sizes, colors, so the link for this will be in the description below if you want to go grab one. y'all let's start with an overview of the Logitech MX keys it's first got smart illumination that turns on the key lights when it detects your hand approach the board the keys are very comfortable that are dished that match the shape of your fingertip makes a pleasant typing experience the keyboard itself is very sturdy basically a cheaper Apple keyboard like feel. It's multi-device compatible across Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android operating systems. A full charge lasts up to 10 days or 5 months with the back lights off. It has three buttons to quickly switch between devices. It has all sorts of buttons that you can actually customize all across the top in your settings on your computer to map the different buttons. I haven't had it long, but my initial reaction to this is I think it's a really solid full wireless keyboard and I definitely recommend getting it. If you're deciding between getting the Magic Keyboard 2 and this keyboard, I would go to, with this one to be honest. 
All right, on to our last and possibly most important item. The Logitech MX Master 3 Advanced Wireless Mouse. This is actually the first wireless mouse I've ever bought. It's got a bunch of features like ultra fast mag speed scrolling. This is actually pretty cool if you do a lot of browsing or editing. I didn't even know what it all meant until I got the mouse. If you press this button on the top, it engages and disengages the magnet in the scroller wheel that actually switches it in between a smooth scroll and more of a tactile, tactile scroll, if that's the right word for it. Also, if you brush up or down on the scrolling wheel, it will actually keep spinning until it reaches the end of whatever page you're on or whatever you're trying to scroll through. But I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually continuously spinning until it reaches a stopping point, which is the coolest thing I've ever seen a mouse do. It's got a side scroller here, which definitely comes in handy when you're editing videos and side scrolling on web pages. These two buttons can be mapped down in the settings of the mouse, but it's your basically your forward and back. The actual shape of the mouse is actually quite satisfying and comfortable to use for long periods of time. You can also customize the basically every button on that mouse for specific gestures gestures to speed up your workflow. You can actually seamlessly move your mouse between three different computers, which I haven't tried yet, but is awesome. This apparently works on any surface and is five times more precise than a basic mouse. Alright. Works on my mouse pad. Works on wood. Works on brick. All right, sold. The mouse also charges with USB-C and a full charge lasts up to 70 days. It can also do a quick one minute charge that gives you three full hours of use. Under the bottom you have a button to quickly change in between three different devices from Bluetooth or USB. Again, I have this whole setup hooked up to my 2013 MacBook Air and everything seems to be working perfectly. And this is basically my new desk setup. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Everything in this video, including the equipment I used to film this video, will be in the description below if you'd like to buy the same setup. I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. It would make the world to me. This is Tech with Luke, signing off. Thanks for watching.